we got the Rona. It was a lie. It was all a lie. What was the reason? What was reason. the reason? What was the reason? I just want to move to New Zealand. <laughs> Popping was cracker lacking. Happy New Year, guys! Almost going into February already. Usually, January will be January and January and January. But yeah, I kind of feel like this January has actually, I don't know, I feel like it has January, but it hasn't January the way that it has January before, you know, like not the same way that it has January in other Januaries. Yeah, <laughs> hope you guys are having a good year so far i haven't uploaded since last year i thought that it would be a good idea for me to just do a little chit chat get ready with me and just catch up with you guys i'd love to know how you guys have been doing so far this year as much as i'm checking in with you guys about myself i also want to be able to like check in with you guys about you guys this is definitely going to be a chit chat get ready with me because i know the other videos where i've done like a chit chat get ready with me i've not been chitting and i've not been chatting but in this get ready with video we're definitely going to chit and we're definitely going to chat okay so let's get into it cuz girl <laughs> it's been a lot okay it's been a lot so my hair is half done I've done my edges I actually put this wig on the other day and I didn't know whether I wanted to do a side parting or a middle parting with it I asked you guys on my stories and you guys decided for me because I literally really didn't know so I just let you guys decide for me and you guys chose a side parting and it actually looked really cute I know some people do their hair and then do their makeup but I do my hair then my makeup and then I go back to doing my hair first things first primer so what it happened was me and Tanya got COVID. Yeah. <laughs> we got the Rona. Yeah, me and Natanya ended up getting Corona. You guys would have seen in the last vlog that I uploaded, me and Natanya spent Christmas at a city apartment. On Christmas Day, Natanya went to spend half of Christmas Day at her dad's, and it was there that she ended up catching Corona from someone in her dad's family. I think it was like a few days later, she was starting to like get symptoms. I thought she had a cold, and she she kind of thought she had a cold but at the same time because obviously we know that covid exists she was also thinking oh maybe it could be covid so she ended up going to get a covid test came back positive oh i didn't even show you guys what i primed with how did you girls do this <laughs> You can tell that I'm not used to doing this whole get ready with me makeup video kind of thing because I don't even know what's going on. I'm just talking. That's all I know how to do is just talk. I use this Too Faced primer. To do my brows. My eyebrows are actually such a struggle to do. I don't know. They just be fighting me all the time. They just don't want to do what I want them to do. And I kind of feel like I need to get them microbladed again because I was meant to go and get a top up from the first time I did them. And obviously, <laughs> the pound of yam started the pandemic i just be doing my struggle brows and making it work you know but yeah as i was saying natanya was sick with covid for like four or five days she had to like self-isolate in her room because she was really trying not to like give it to me but obviously like from Christmas Day, as you guys would have seen in the vlog, I'd already been around Natanya. So although she was self-isolating after we realised that, yeah, she does have COVID. Or, well, she was self-isolating just before. But by that time, I had already been around her. Like, you guys saw us together at the apartment in the vlog. Already been exposed to it anyway. But she was still self-isolating anyway, just in case. Because I didn't start having any symptoms while she was sick. It was only, like, towards the end where she was getting better. It's almost like two weeks after that I then started having my symptoms. Literally went from Natanya having COVID, then getting better, and then I had COVID. It took me longer to actually recover. I don't know if it's because I'm older. I don't know what the science might be, but it took me a bit longer than her to recover from it. I think I was ill for about 10 days. <clears throat> Let me tell you now, COVID is not the one like it's, it's literally not the one how can i summarize it basically you've been run over by a bus it's not a nice feeling i think the worst of my symptoms was extreme tiredness using fenty beauty concealer in 450 to just go around my eyebrows i just felt so tired and then i also had like really really bad headaches there was one particular night where the headache was so bad it literally 
literally felt like an elephant was sitting on my head like the back of my eyes were hurting yeah it was it was really really bad and then my other symptom was sore throat i had a really bad sore throat as well i did cough a little bit as well but my coughing wasn't like really serious it wasn't like constant it was just like every now and then i'd be coughing i didn't lose my sense of taste or smell the energy to do anything was non-existent getting up to go to the toilet i needed to lie down straight afterwards standing up in the kitchen while i'm trying to get my breakfast i needed to lie down after it because i just didn't have the energy i didn't have the energy to stand up i was that tired it's taking me so long to do my eyebrows oh my gosh they're a bit bold but by the time i'm done they're not gonna be this loud thank god that both of us are okay and our symptoms wasn't serious and the tiny symptoms she was coughing a little bit she also was really really tired there was one particular day i think this was the day where i was like convinced that yeah she definitely does have covid was the day where she literally slept the entire day like she was in bed for the whole whole entire day and that's very unlike Natanya to just be sleeping all day like that so that's when we both knew that yeah it's definitely not just a cold and she did have a bit of a headache but I don't think her headaches were as bad as mine yeah I just thank god that you know our experience of having covid wasn't like super serious because I know some people like have it really really bad obviously some people have actually died so it's not a joke got through it and we're both feeling much much better we're both back to good health and yeah i've done my brows i'm gonna come back and zhuzh it a little bit more towards the end i'm gonna put my foundation on it's fenty beauty in 450 pro filter foundation i learned this thing from jackie iron is it jackie iron that i learned this from where she like sprays the setting spray onto her makeup brush and then blends the foundation because i think that's supposed to kind of help your foundation like set a bit more i think that was what she explained it to be january has literally been me and natanya recovering from covid i didn't even have time to really like process the new year or anything like literally stepped into january and dealing with covid i feel like i haven't really done much but it's weird that i feel like a lot has happened this month as well i really like how this foundation blends into my skin and i don't really need too much of it i don't like to put too much foundation on my face because i'm still gonna like put concealer and everything i don't like that feeling where it feels like your face can't breathe and maybe that's why i prefer skincare over makeup i like wearing makeup but i'm not like a proper like makeup person putting on makeup for me is effort like i actually have to like make the effort to put on makeup like if i could just not wear makeup all the time i wouldn't but at the same time i do like wearing makeup so yeah i don't know if that even makes any sense but it's not like i'm anti-makeup because i do actually enjoy wearing makeup i like wearing makeup but i also like for my skin to breathe <laughs> and to just like you know have nothing on my face i'm using my Too faced born this way concealer and i'm mixing it in with my fenty beauty concealer the one i just used on my eyebrows it's literally like three different concealers i don't know why i do this i just like it <laughs> i just like doing this <laughs> your girl hit 100k on instagram period <laughs> if you don't follow me on instagram why like what was the reason? 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 I just explained the reason. What was the reason? Why you ain't following me on Instagram? Huh? What did I do to you that you feel like you don't want to follow me on Instagram? What did I do? What did my Instagram do to you? I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys so much to everyone that has followed me on instagram i hit 100k and it's so funny because i think it was back in november i must have put on my instagram stories that i don't know how it's gonna happen but if i can hit 100k by january i'd be so chuffed guys like look at god like literally like that's exactly what has happened at the time that i said that i think i was on like 87k or 88k i just literally just randomly put it on my instagram stories that i don't know how this is gonna happen but if i can hit 100k by january and it's january and i hit 100k and we thank god okay and thank you to everyone that has followed me everyone that has been supporting me everyone that's been following me for years 
is like i have to shout out everyone that has been following me on instagram for years and i'm talking about from like 2015 times you know i really genuinely genuinely appreciate every single one of you because i see the love i see the support it definitely does not go unnoticed like it doesn't go unnoticed at all and i really really appreciate all of you my new followers as well i definitely look forward to getting to know all of my new followers and just like being able to just you know really connect with you guys continue to just build a community of followers that i'm genuinely connected with you know and then the other thing that has happened from like last year or well, december is like my content going viral or things I post going viral and I think the first thing was when I posted my how it's going versus how it started and it literally like just blew up on Twitter it just blew up out of nowhere I was like what is going on like I literally was just posting it like, I was not expecting it to blow up like that so that happened and I know that a lot of people followed me um from what am I looking for what what am I looking for for because i'm just doing hanging 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 and talking and i'm clearly looking for something but i don't know what i'm looking for oh yes the thing to contour my nose <laughs> this is a matchstick contour stick from fenty beauty in espresso it's literally basically finished but what i do because i'm gonna get the whole product okay we don't waste products around here especially when they're good what i do i spray my primer onto the brush again and then i just go in and collect go and collect it from inside there i will get a new one guys i'm not that cheap i will get a new one but since i haven't got it just yet let me just use what's inside there you know yeah so a lot of people followed me from that how it's going how it started tweet and there was like so many like pages like reposting it on instagram um, some um, blog sites were like writing articles about it I had no idea that that was going to happen and I think that a lot of people who have like viral content you never know what is going to go viral until you post it the things that go viral tend to be things that you just never expect to go viral oh my gosh I just messed up my edge here my little soup de soup so yeah that was like oh my gosh and it's so funny because obviously like this picture of me not glowed up <laughs> 18 years old in the hospital looking crazy the glow up had not existed at that point okay just literally going viral on the internet and being reposted like everywhere but it's all good like i think it's just really nice for people to see that everything starts from somewhere you know we don't all just wake up like beautiful and amazing with our whole entire lives together and everything like it's literally a journey and it's a process yeah that happened and then girl this month another piece of content of mine decided to go viral as well i'm gonna insert a tweet that i tweeted last year there was a point in my life where that prayer was the main prayer that i prayed when i was praying <laughs> it was literally the focus of my time alone with god that was all i was talking to god about you know i just wanted god to connect me with people that mattered to my purpose and i saw i saw god actively answer that prayer um, in ways that i never even expected but i knew that it was god and i knew that god was answering that prayer this is the setting powder i'm going to use it's the laura mercier translucent powder in honey It's the translucent honey one which is the latest one i believe there's also the one that everyone already knows about this is the original translucent one which is a bit more white but then they brought out the honey version which i really really like i saw patricia wearing it and I was like, girl, what did you set your foundation with? Because whatever's going on over here, I'm loving it. I'm liking it. I need it. So basically, I was praying that prayer. I saw and continue to see God work in my life through that prayer and i just wanted to like share it with people god answered that prayer for me and i just wanted to like share it with people that follow me on twitter or anyone that would see the tweet to just you know give them a prayer point that they can pray so i tweeted it and it got a lot of um likes and retweets and stuff so i pinned it in my twitter bio so that anyone who comes across my twitter can see the prayer and they can pray it and trust god for the answer to that prayer for in their own personal lives as well and i think it's such an important prayer because we can't do anything in this life without other people being involved people aren't successful in their purpose in the mission that 
God has for their lives in the things that they receive whether it's blessings achieving their goals the things that they're able to accomplish and go through in the journey of their lives no one experiences those things or does those things by themselves there's always someone involved in the journey in the process one way or another and that's the way that God has created us as humans he's a relational God like he wants us to be able to relate to him and connect to him we are also inclined to relate and connect with other people as we go through life whether those experiences are good or bad is part of life you know and I just felt like it's such a important prayer to pray for God to connect you with the right people people that matter to your purpose to your destiny to your calling to your journey your blessings your goals like it's such a powerful prayer in me praying it and experiencing it in my life myself i really just wanted to share it with other people and then i thought because i'd recently joined tiktok if you don't follow me on tiktok follow me on tiktok okay i'm on ticking and i'm talking i'm ticking and i'm talking so you better go on tiktok and follow me is this is amina okay <laughs> Yeah, so I had an idea to basically bring the prayer to life and create some kind of like fun TikTok that I could share. What am I looking for? my brush yeah so i decided to basically turn the tweet into a tiktok i'm contouring with makeup revolution matte base powder i basically did like a little dance with the prayer coming up on the screen on tiktok and i posted it on my tiktok and i decided to also post it as an instagram reel on my instagram page and literally a few days ago it hit over one million plays Bruh. I was so shocked. I think it was like a week after I posted it or 10 days after I posted it, it was on over half a million plays. And then basically like a week later, it's on over a million. And I was like, wow. I was not expecting it to go like that far. <laughs> like I literally was not expecting that to happen at all. It also got like a lot of plays and likes on um, TikTok as well. But the Instagram reel, over a million plays plays i was just like wow at the same time i'm just really thankful that however many people have seen that um reel and that tiktok or seen the tweet of that prayer i'm thankful that all of those people are praying that prayer and my prayer is that they see god move in their lives through that prayer and i know that he will if he can do it for me he can definitely do it for you i just thank god like all glory goes to God and I pray that God will get the glory in the lives of every single person that is praying that prayer obviously having a relationship with God is more than just praying and asking God to do things for you it's a two-way thing but at least praying a prayer like that is kind of like a way of also allowing God to be involved in the journey of your life and the things that you want to do and the things that you want to achieve and just being able to kind of surrender an aspect of your life to God and I think that's really really important having a closer and deeper and meaningful relationship with God a lot of that is being able to surrender more to God and just giving your life to him and allowing him to be God in your life you're surrendering your purpose to God you're basically saying God what you have for me make it happen even with like your goals and you know things that you want to do things that you want to achieve as long as you know it's the will of God for your life God has a role to play in making those things come to pass and connecting you with the right people that are going to help you along your journey <laughs> I'm just gonna bronze my face now if I can find my brush. The bronzer I'm using is Fenty Beauty. I use a lot of Fenty Beauty stuff, you know. I actually really like Fenty. Mocha Mami. I'm just gonna go over my contour with bronzer to, you know, further snatch my face. Because I just feel like my face is getting a little bit chubby because I've not been going to the gym because gym is closed. And I hate it here, okay? I hate the fact that the gym is closed. And I've not been working out. I've not been doing any home workouts. And obviously, I was sick with COVID. So working out was definitely not gonna happen because I didn't even have energy to stand up off the bed. I'm gonna start doing my home workouts and going for walks 
and stuff like that getting active again as much as I can but I just need the gyms to be back open you know oh like the reason why the gym is closed if you guys didn't know if you're not from the UK the UK is in yet another lockdown like it's the third lockdown that we've been in and at this point I just want to move to New Zealand like I think I might just pack up all my things and just move to New Zealand because it seems like New Zealand is the only country that is COVID free at this point in time like they've got their ish together the New Zealand government clearly know what they're doing um they seem to have COVID under control over there so I'm just like maybe I should just move to New Zealand I mean I understand that for everyone's safety the lockdown needs to happen but I feel like in the UK they're implementing things now that they should have implemented from like when the virus first hit back in March last year it's just all confusing but yeah we're in another lockdown so everything is closed gyms restaurants shops everything I'm hoping that they can get things under control so that we can be released again and obviously the cases need to go down and people will be recovering more from the virus but yeah I don't want to talk about the pounded yam too much the panoramic the pistachio nuts before I put blush on I'm gonna use my NYX can't stop won't stop powder to just kind of blend everything in a little bit more you know what I'm saying yeah, I think that should do it and then I'm gonna put some blusher on I'm using Patricia Bright's um, face palette the you are gold one and i use the the blusher in there to put on my cheeks in regards to like my outlook for 2021 i'm just tidying up my brows i do have some big goals that i want to achieve this year god willing i'm kind of like in a place in my life where i just feel like i need more space like i need a different environment where i am right now i feel like i've kind of outgrown it and deserve more and i want more for myself and for my daughter like i think we deserve it i think we're in a position where it's time and I really want to work towards achieving that where we're at now is not conducive for where we're trying to be and in order to get there we really need to work <laughs> you know actively work towards where we're trying to go you guys already know I do not know how to do eyeshadow big big 2021 and I still don't know how to do eyeshadow guys I'm sorry I think it was like my birthday vlog last year I said I was gonna learn how to do my eyeshadow and it's literally about to be my birthday again in April have I learned how to to do eyeshadow no it was a lie it was all a lie guys it was all a lie she lied. it was all a lie i still use only this one gold color here i'm sorry guys i'm sorry when you get comfortable yeah in a certain thing it takes a lot of time and effort to really push yourself out of your comfort zone and learn how to do something that you didn't know how to do before and i'm not there yet but maybe one day i will if it really means something to me to learn how to do eyeshadow maybe one day i will learn how to do it but right now it's clearly not a priority i clearly don't want to learn how to do my eyeshadow natania recently learned how to use final cut pro and i'm like so proud of her because she kind of got to a point where she really wants to like push her youtube channel and be more consistent on there but because i'm the one that edits all our videos and so my videos her videos you guys already know this she has to kind of like wait for me to have time to edit her videos she'll be filming so many videos but she kind of like can't put them out because she's waiting on me to edit it and i think she just got to a point where she was like you know what the only thing that's holding me back from being consistent is not knowing how to edit so why don't i just learn how to edit and she literally just taught herself how to edit like she literally just sat down last week i think it was edited her first youtube video uploaded it on her channel and she's good to go now she's actually currently editing another video and that's just literally it when you prioritize certain things and you have that kind of light bulb aha moment where you just think you know what enough is enough like if i really want to do this thing if i really want to achieve this thing i need to like get to work i need to like do what needs to be done in order to get there hold on one sec guys because i need to do this eyeliner properly i'm just messing the whole thing up because i'm too busy talking give me a sec guys okay done the eyeliner that i use benefit roller liner i actually quite like it so yeah that's that done i'm just like really proud of her that she just like took initiative and she pushed herself and she taught herself a skill that she didn't have before and i think for her it's a really great way to understand there is so much power 
are in learning a new skill that's going to be for your benefit and it's going to really help you in the things that you what is that on my chest why have i got a highlighter on my chest just doing things that's going to really help you to get to where you're trying to go just investing in yourself you know it's so important to invest in yourself and investing in yourself could mean reading a book learning a new skill taking care of yourself it could mean anything but just making that effort to just do something for yourself that you're gonna thank yourself for later on such a powerful thing oh gosh guys i've been talking for so long i haven't even done my hair as much as i have the desire to kind of change my environment and to just be in a different space i know that there's like so many other things i need to do before i get there so i'm just trying to like be content with where i am and just working with where i am right now and you know what i can do while also working towards where i want to be and the things i want to achieve at the same time and just having that balance because sometimes you just have to like be content with where you are and work with the position that you're in and where you are in that moment to the best of your ability whichever way that you can before you can gain more and do more and achieve more give me a sec guys i'm just gonna put my lashes on oh yeah My whole thing is like especially during this pounded yam that we're going through i don't want to focus on things that are beyond my control you know we can't control what's going on in the world right now but what we can do is just focus on the things that we can control and do the best that we can within the situation that we're in and i know that's easier said than done but with time we'll adjust because i don't think this pounded yam is going anywhere anytime soon unfortunately all i can do is just focus on the things that i can control and just do my best to work towards the things that i want to achieve like regardless don't stay stagnant because of things that you can't control redirect your focus and honing on that that's my mindset at this point in time and will probably be my mindset for the year in terms of just doing what it is that i can do to get to where i need to go to achieve the things that i want to achieve by the grace of god living my purpose doing the things that god has called me to do and and just building it's literally gotten dark while i've been filming when does it ever not get dark while i'm filming <laughs> i feel like that's like a running thing with my videos like my videos start in the daytime and end in the nighttime <laughs> the lip liner i'm wearing is from kiko in number 321 i really like this lip liner and then i'm going with my elf lip pencil it's like my go-to lip combo and then i'm using my kiko hydra lip gloss in number seven go over there don't forget guys when you put lipstick or lip gloss on or anything so it doesn't go on your teeth and just wipe it setting spray Too Faced setting spray and primer <laughs> i'm also going to use my charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray as well just gonna quickly straighten my hair a little bit and then i'll come back to you guys and end the video okay okay girl i am ready my everyday makeup makeup that i do every day every night every morning every evening every occasion this is my makeup this is what i do all the time i decided to throw on a little something something a dress mellow august london which is a black owned clothing company i hope that you guys have an amazing 2021 do what you can with what you have and continue to push forward in all the things that you want to do and achieve and most importantly make sure to put god at the center of it all okay <laughs> also guys if you haven't subscribed already make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can get this channel to 100k just like we got instagram to 100k let's get this channel to 100k as well okay because that's what we're doing we're doing 100k's all around over here okay hit that subscribe button i would really appreciate that thank you so much for watching this video and i will catch you in the next one bye guys <laughs>